Hi, my name is John and I'm with Midnight Solar. And today I'm going to show you how to mount our surge protection devices. So come on over and we'll get started. For me, I'll be installing the lightning arresters on the bench, but for you, you might be installing them. It might be a retrofit. What you want to do is you want to kill all the power, the AC and the DC. Make sure you do this because there could be current, there could still be power in there and you can get jolted really good. This is what your new SPDs are going to look like. The wire is wrapped up around them. It's real easy. Just pull it out. Don't have, you don't have to worry about pulling the wires out. You don't want to yank on them. Okay, when you get, just take your nut off down here in the bottom. That's all right. This is where I run my wires through. I put my nut on the back side. And again, you can see we have a little rubber bushing right here. When I tighten it up, I just tighten it up so it's nice and snug so you can't move it. As you can see, I'll use the lightning arrestor to tighten it up. But again, I'm watching this little rubber bushing inside here. I don't want it to bulge out. Just snug, just nice and snug. And I'll keep this little tab. I like to keep it to the back so people won't come up, grab a hold of it, yank it off. Okay, it's real basic and real simple on this. We'll take the red wire, run it to the red post. That's your AC hot in. We'll take the black, which is your to the black post which is AC hot in and then we'll take the green and we'll run it down here to the earth ground. Okay here we go. Now when I run my wires down watch like you have sharp corners right here you don't want the wire rubbing up against it. You know, what it's going to do it's going to break through your seal right here. But what I like to do is make sure my wires are straight but it, when you have to make a bend make a nice easy bend. It doesn't have to be sharp. You don't want it sharp. Lightning does not like going around sharp corners, but it's just a nice easy bend. And with the other wires that I'll be putting in, what I do is I'll take this one and I'll run it down to the third. Yeah, the one, two, three. What I do is I line it up. I just use my finger. I just make a nice easy cut. And when I strip it, you don't want to take too much off. You just want to set it up in there. You can see just about how much, right about there. Just enough to where it's going to go and it's going to pick, pick it up. It doesn't have to be sticking out the back. And again, you can see I even mark my own wrenches. We don't want to make a mistake. You want to be real certain that you have the right torque on these. And I got this one marked at 20. This is the one I would use for my breakers and my lightning arresters. As you can see inside the e-panel box, we show the torque specifications. We're working with 12 gauge wire. And this is shown from 18 to 10. And you can see we're working at 20 inch pounds. And again, what I do is I'll tighten it down. You can see my wire coming up a little bit. I give it a double, double click. And usually in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, even two hours is fine. But come back and double torque it again. You want to make sure these are nice and tight. Again, as it's coming down, We'll be tying this off later here, but it's come down a nice easy bend. Like what I use, I just use my thumb, just a nice easy bend, give it some extra slack. Again, lightning does not like going around tight corners at all. Just about there. Okay. Okay, well, again, I'll move, remove my bus bar insulator here so you can see. What we take again, we'll take our the black wire to the AC hot end. And again remember, want to stress, no tight corners. You don't want to pinch that over really tight. I give it a double click. And again, remember later, in about an hour, hour and a half, you want to come back and retorque these. Anytime you're working with wires, you want to double torque them. Okay, our earth ground again, as you can tell, like I told you earlier, I'll have this held up right here. But just make sure our wires aren't all messed up. Again, nice easy flow coming around, no sharp bends. And coming down, 
what you want to do is maybe just put a little pressure right here and you can just kind of straighten out your wire so she's nice and flat and I'll be having three of them coming down in here so what I do is I'll take this one off the first I'll come in as close what I do is about a half an inch out I just push down make a nice easy bend about the middle of the screw again that'll give me a little extra but you rather have too much than too little and that's where I'll make my cut You know, just like with the others, what we want to do is just, just a little bit. As you can see, just a real slight little bend there. Just enough sticking out. Now I've installed the first one. On the second one, I did it was just like a mirror image on the, yeah, the AC hot end. Or over here I did the AC hot out and again the wires come down and I got the green going to the earth ground I have the red wire coming in into the it's the AC hot out and as you can see no sharp bends and then the black wire comes over and hooks in and on the on the third arrestor what I've done this runs into your PV your PV minus and your earth ground the green wire, no sharp bends, coming straight down, right into your, right into your ground. Down the red one, you can see I have a nice easy loop coming up into the PV. Red the red, green the green, and the black wire coming off, comes down, loops around, and I have it going into the PV negative. And the reason for the white shrink wrap is to show that it's a negative. <laughs> This is John with Midnight Solar. That's how we install our lightning arresters. It was easy for me and I hope it was easy for you.